All right, so Tara, you're doing a case study with a client. Uh, your client has you know, generously stepped forward to say, yes, I'm happy to be even on a video for a case study. That's awesome. That's a, that's a very warm client. Um, and you're wondering, well, what kind of questions should you be asking them? Um, and you could think about, you know, yeah, this you're thinking could be, obviously be a video. It could even be a podcast episode, possibly. It could be turned into written uh, blog posts and, and, you know, clips of it could be used different places, clips of the video, clips of the written things. So it's very useful once you record something like this. And the questions that I, I have for you um, that you could ask, and by the way, others who are here, please chat below if you have any other um, ideas for questions to ask during a call like this. But basically, the, the basic format of a case study is before, during, and after, right? Like before they started working with you, this is what they were feeling. During the work with you, this was their favorite stuff about it. And after their work with you, or now that they have been working with you, this is the how the experience is different in their life from how it was. But so, so the first question would be, and, and you don't necessarily have to ask it in this order, because the first question I was going to say was, what's the difficulty or pain that they experienced before starting to work with you? You know, what, why did they come and start working with you? Now, sometimes that might be difficult to talk about. Maybe they're feeling in a celebratory mood, so they want to talk about the great stuff first. So mm -hmm. just kind of feel it out to see what, which question should you start with. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes they're, so, that, so question one is difficulty slash pain experience before. Second one is favorite aspects or exercises in your work. Like, oh yeah, Tara, you know, um, I really liked it when you had me uh, journal about this or to you kept asking about this every time we met you know this kind of concept or this uh, area of my of my life or I really like this um, framework you, you brought me through you know it was very helpful so things like that what was a yeah so and sometimes that's an easy way to start the conversation too it's like hey what what do you really like about working and then they might also say hey Tara I really like that I feel like you really listen you know, in our sessions, I, I, it's hard for me to talk about this, this stuff, you know, this with other people. And you really provide that kind of space where um, not just you listen, but you also uh, provide insights in regards to blah, 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 you know. So that would be ideal. If they could say all those things. And then the third question. Um, so one is difficulty playing before. Uh, two is favorite aspects during. And the third is um, after working with you, how have things changed for, for, for them? So that, you know, the ideal answer would be like, well, gosh, now, now that we've done, we've done three months, six months, X months of work together, I feel way differently about, you know, I know, you, you know, just for those who don't know, you know, Tara was body image, intuitive eating. My gosh, my relationship with food is 100%, uh, you know, 180 degrees, because I used to stuff my face when I felt bad. And it was particularly these types of snacks and junk food. And now it's like, I don't, I look at that stuff. And I'm like, all right, it's, it's fun to eat occasionally, but only in, you know, anyway, it's like, it's like that kind of contrast sure. would be the ideal answer. Now, not everyone's going to have that kind of dramatic contrast to share. But even if it's like, you know, I, when I, you know, even if it's subtle, like, you know, I really feel better, even if it's vague, you, you, you could try to tease out of them any specific scenario. Mm -hmm. So they, they say, yeah, I just feel better now that I've worked with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not a, that's not, it's not very helpful. I feel better. Well, I mean, it's helpful, but okay, well, tell me more. Like, in what situation do you feel better? Like, like I remember you, you, you um, when you first started working with me, you had challenge in this particular area. Now, of course, hopefully they're okay talking about all this. This part of the area how is that different now oh mm. yes thanks for reminding me yeah this is totally yeah so try to tease out what the trends transition has been sure in specific ways yeah the contrast that's great. you know and, and then and then i have two more questions for you question four is well so now that you have gone through this work with me what would you say is the best who who do you think my ideal client is what, what kind mm. of person do you think is really most ready uh, to work with me and would get the most out of working with me? What kind of person might you describe? And then they'll say, okay, it's the person who is dealing with this issue, who has maybe tried this, uh, who um, is willing to try X, Y, Z, 
and um, is really eager to get this kind of transformation of ABC. You know, I think that's the kind of person. And um, yeah, and, and I don't know if they're going to tell you an age range, like <laughs> between this age and that age, maybe in certain cases that might be relevant. And then the fifth question is, all right, great. Thanks for describing the ideal client. That's very interesting. What would you now imagine you were talking to that person? Maybe it's actually even a friend of yours, someone you can imagine like, oh yeah, that's, that's the kind of person that Tara would really be able to help. Now imagine talking to them uh, on, on this video. What would you say to them in terms of my work? Like, what would you say to help them decide whether or not it's the right fit to work with me? And, or maybe they're on the fence. What would you, what would you say to help them uh, you know, get off the fence one way or the other? Those are really good. Yeah, I like those a lot, George. And um... oh, and and I'm sorry, Eric Klein. Thank you for your suggestions here. I've got questions. Before, what were you hoping for when you started working with me? And what were you unsure about? Yeah, that's a really good one too. Like, what what were you unsure about? And that's part of like, what would you say to the person who who is on the fence? Like, what are they unsure about? Whether or not this is the right thing for them, you know? Mm -hmm. And and also maybe what were you doubtful about? Like when you started, you're like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been trying <laughs> these other modalities or these other programs and it didn't work for me, but working with you is different. Now that's awesome as a case study or testimonial. It's like, wow. You know, it's like, what, what were you doubtful about? You know, um, uh, why were you ready to try this approach? That's from Eric as well. Why were you ready to try this approach during okay, the during stuff? What were the surprises? What worked the best? What challenges and how did we work through them? And then after looking back, what are the three key learnings and results? That's awesome. I love that specificity. What would you tell the you of a few months ago about this work? That's awesome, Eric. Yeah. That's very helpful. Those are really good. And, and I like, um, perfect. I mean, and I love that, that she's willing to, to be on video, like I said, and I'm, and, and so do I need to think like, so what if I were to take a portion of this video. Oh yeah, sure. You I can mean, always edit it. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah. so, gosh, this idea of a podcast is really kind of fun, isn't it? And then yeah, and I mean, gosh, I... you could even clip out, you know, like a twenty second thing of uh, you know, or thirty second or a minute, you know, and that could be put into various episodes in your podcast. Like at the end of the podcast, when you say, "Hey, for those of you who are interested in working with me, I want you to hear from one of my recent clients who." you know, gave me permission to share this. And then here's a you know, 20 second clip. Whoa. <laughs> that's not that great. Yeah. That's, that'd be, that'd that's be so some great. crazy self-promotion yeah, there, George. <laughs> <It's, laughs> that's, that feels uncomfortable. I'm just going to let you know that right now. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like what? I said, that feels a little uncomfortable. I'm just going to let you know that right now, but I love well, the idea. I but no. Okay. No, I, I love that you said that because let's think about the person who has listened to the end of a podcast episode. So mm. the, the problem I have with podcasts uh, promotions is they're usually at the front. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. not, not the guy with, you know, 10 minutes of <laughs> ads in the beginning. Got to keep fast forwarding until like, come on, people, podcasters put the ads at the end. Not the middle. Okay, maybe in the middle is a little a little manipulative, but I'm I want to hear the rest of the conversation, so I'm willing to sit through you know a one minute thing, or I can fast forward quickly. Um, but at the end is very respectful. It's like I've heard everything, and now I just you know I want to those of you who are interested in working with me and think about this here. You're framing it as those of you who are considering possibly um, check trying out my coaching. Um, listen on for what one of my clients said about the experience. They could stop anytime. <laughs> the episode's over, you know? Sure. And so if they're gonna keep no, listening, they wanna keep right. listening. Yeah, yeah, they might be curious. Yeah. Um, Cause I think, yeah, that's interesting. No, yeah. it's good. It's it, yeah. that's really, really good. Those are some great ways. And, and for those who are saying, gosh, I don't know if my client's willing to be on video or even on audio, don't worry. You can always do this kind of case study interview anonymously with your clients to say, uh, all right, you have a choice. You could be on video, audio, or be anonymous. And we could do this over writing, over email. And that's totally fine too. You can still use it. You, 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 could, you could say it on a podcast episode or on a video. Hey, for those who are interested in working with me, this is what one of my clients just sent me. I'm keeping them anonymous because they wanted to be uh, uh, anonymous, but this is what they said. 
they oh by the way they are a, a, a fellow mother like you entrepreneur like you or whatever i mean that's vague enough where it could be anybody in the world right yeah the work i do you know is sensitive so i kind of just said i'd love to do a case study and by the way if you're interested in video and um yes what right. we agreed upon is not using or linking her full name um, oh okay there we go which of course is fine i mean i was you know yeah but just her willingness very, to be on video and then just sure. i'm just using you know yeah first you could just use first initial. first initial too <laughs> i could yeah. just use right and you know thanks California, t for doing this whatever you know, yeah, right yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. yeah probably not even but so yeah i am thrilled really i, was, yeah. I wasn't expecting it but That's i'm awesome. excited so i love these very, ideas very cool. and these questions yeah and so eric funny. uh came up with this one he said you can authentically introduce the testimonial clip by saying how grateful you are and how tender it makes mm. you feel. Yeah, that's a nice way of doing it too. Yeah. But but I honestly idea. think if someone's gonna listen to the end of a podcast episode or read to the end of a blog post, either way, um, they're open, like and they're open and they want the ideal client for you, the prospective client, wants confirmation that it's not foolish to work with you. Mm. And the testimonial goes, well. I'm not the only one who thinks this is, might be a good idea. <laughs> you know? Ziza, that's a very sweet comment. Yeah, it is. Yeah, nice. um, I have a comment. George. Yeah, Eric, yeah, please go ahead. I'm just think, I'm thinking about when you record the video, Tara, with your, with your client. And some, it's, people often get a sense of pressure like they're in a performance. Mm -hmm. they're on video oh yeah that's true and so i think it's important with when you're doing the just like there's it's not we can stop we can re you know it's like yeah. we'll take care of it in post like we can laugh we can forget <laughs> we can, you know, yeah. can we say that again da, 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 da. it's like that's totally good. open space right? i love that yeah i love that it's not a it's not a one take and oh no you made a mistake you should feel yeah. bad for the rest of it kind of thing <laughs> And you, if you, Make that it, also is good for you. Cause if you get curious about something, it's like, let's go back true. to that thing. And like, yes, da, 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 da. yes. So it's total free forming. It. Oh, yeah. I like that. Just being nice. really casual and conversational around yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. And then I'll just get my editing hat on and go from there. Yeah. Perfect. I love that. Well, Tara, look for, looking forward to hearing how it goes. If it's something that does go move forward and you share it as a video, please do send it so that I can include it in the notes of this oh, recording yeah, that we're course. doing That's here so people can idea. see how yeah. it turned out. Yeah, I love that. Alrighty, I certainly will. Thank you. Perfect.